Praise be Jesus Christ. Today, the 28th of July, is the feast day of Blessed John Soreth. He was a French Carmelite in the 1400s. And it was thanks to him that we now have the Carmelite nuns, St. Teresa, and all the wonderful women who followed after her, as well as the Third Order Carmelites. And I want to share with you some of his wisdom it comes from the Office of Readings in the Carmelite Supplement for the Feast of this Great Carmelite Saint. His wisdom is worth savoring. He, he wrote this as the Father General, the spiritual father of the whole Carmelite family throughout the world, which he held that position for 20 years. And in that time, he wrote exhortations and commentaries on the rule of St. Albert our primary aramedical rule of life. Listen to what he says about what the rule speaks to us in regards to loving God with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength. It is from Christ himself that you will learn how to love him. Learn to love him tenderly with all your heart. Love him tenderly so that you will not be seduced away from him. Prudently so that you will not be open to deception. And fervently so that downheartedness will not draw you away from God's love. May the wisdom of Christ seem sweet to you so that you are not led away by the glory of the world and the pleasures of the flesh. May your enthusiasm be fervent, balanced in judgment and discretion. Balanced in judgment and invincible, and neither lukewarm nor lacking in discretion. Love the Lord your God with all the affection of which your heart is capable. Love him with all the attentiveness and balance of judgment of your soul, your mind and reason. Love him with such strength that you will not be afraid to die for love of him. May the Lord Jesus seem so sweet and tender to your affections that the sweet enticements of the world hold no attraction for you. May his sweetness conquer their sweetness. God is wisdom, and he wants to be loved not only fervently, but also wisely. Otherwise, the spirit of error will easily take advantage of your enthusiasm. Not to be led astray by allurements. That's what it means to love with all one's heart. Not to be deceived by false arguments. That's the meaning of loving with all one's soul, mind. Not to let your spirit be broken by difficulties. That is to love with all one's strength. May Our Lady Mount Carmel grant us the grace to keep God's commandments, that we may abide in his love, and that nothing may separate us from the victory of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.